In order to install the Dynamic Island on Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, we can use Play Store in order to find an app that provides us this Dynamic Island. So let's search and let's enter the name of the app that we're going to use, uh, which is Dynamic Spot. Let's choose this one and let's install it. Now this is an app that I have used before, it is free. Of course it may contain some ads, but this is the price for having a free app of course. So once we download it and open it we can press next. Then we need to follow these instructions over here, first select apps, so let's tap here. And we need to select apps that will be working with the Dynamic Island. So every app that will be shown in the pop-up. So we can immediately select all of them or we can go through one by one and choose which apps should be working with that. Let's go back. And then we need to provide notification access. So here we need to select Dynamic Spot. Tap on this switcher and press allow. We need to also grant the permission to draw on, on screen. Press allow. And then once again press the same thing and then choose next. Here you go to installed apps, and then choose dynamic spot and turn this on and press allow. And there we go, we can now press done. If you see this ad we can close it in the top right corner. We have mm, some options that allow us to uh, customize the dynamic spot a little bit where we can for instance choose the Customize the appearance, customize the position, and so on and so forth. Some of the settings are locked behind a premium version, uh, but um, some of them are not. So now let's see how it works. I'm gonna call myself and we will see how it looks like. It seems that the pop-up is not there. So let's actually close it. All right, so once we are in an app, then we can see that over here we have this tiny dynamic island. It is actually quite small, so what we can do is we can go to these settings. Let's go to position. There we go, and over here we have the preview. So we can change the size as well. We can make it a bit wider as well. Make it a bit bigger, maybe something like this. We can also adjust the position, the vertical position, so perhaps something like this. And that is it. This is how we can use the Dynamic Island. In case you want to block system pop-ups, then in that case this app offers us to use additional app, which is the pop-up control. Unfortunately it is gone now. Um, but that app apparently allows us to get rid of the system pop-ups which can overlay each other. But essentially this is how we can get the dynamic island. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye!